dinosaurs was just the beginning. Before them, Earth was ruled by monsters so terrifying they could crush bones, rip armor, and outrun any living predator today. Stick around, because the final creature will make even T-Rex seem tame. What if I told you the deadliest monsters in Earth's history weren't dinosaurs? Long before the Jurassic giants roamed the Earth, other predators ruled the skies, seas, and land. These beasts were bigger, meaner, and in many ways, scarier. From ancient sea demons with bone-crushing jaws to towering birds that hunted like lions, these creatures changed the definition of terrifying. And wait until you hear about the final predator. Its legacy still haunts our oceans today. Let's start with one of the most brutal predators to ever swim Earth's waters. Meet Dunkleosteus, a 33-foot-long prehistoric fish wrapped in armor and fueled by raw power. Living around 380 million years ago, this beast didn't bother with teeth. It had bone shears for jaws. These sharp plates slammed together with a crushing force of over 5,000 pounds per square inch. For comparison, that's twice the bite force of a T-Rex. Some researchers say it could snap a great white shark in two like it was nothing. And it did so with speed. Its jaws could open and slam shut in just 1 50th of a second. That kind of precision and force made it one of the ocean's most efficient killers. But here's the creepy part. One of its distant relatives, the Killicanth, was thought to be extinct until it was rediscovered in 1938. Still alive. If that ancient survivor slipped through time, what else might be lurking deep in today's unexplored oceans? Now, picture this. You're swimming in shallow prehistoric waters and feel a shift in the current. From the murky depths, a giant shadow rises. Jacolopterus, an eight-foot-long sea scorpion, launches forward. This was no ordinary scorpion. It had massive pincers, crushing strength, and blazing speed underwater. Its eyes were compound like a fly's, meaning it could see in every direction, perfect for stalking prey. Fossil evidence suggests Jacolopterus could hunt with ambush precision, lurking in low visibility waters and striking in a flash. It was the apex predator of its ecosystem. And how did it get so big? During the Paleozoic era, oxygen levels in Earth's atmosphere were much higher than today, up to 35%. That extra oxygen supercharged the metabolism and growth of arthropods, turning what would have been a hand-sized creature today into a walking nightmare. Dr. Sarah Martinez explains that global warming in that era contributed to these giant monsters. And with rising ocean temperatures now, the question becomes unsettling. Could conditions align again for monsters like this to return? Because if climate creates monsters, Maybe we're accidentally building a world that welcomes them back. We often think birds are harmless, but Forest Rakos, also known as the terror bird, would change your mind fast. After the extinction of the dinosaurs, this flightless predator dominated South America. Standing 10 feet tall and weighing around 300 pounds, it could sprint at nearly 40 miles per hour. Its most terrifying weapon, that beak, Sharp, curved, and brutally strong, each strike was like getting hit with an ax. One well-placed blow could shatter the skull of a large mammal. But these weren't dumb brutes. Fossil studies show Forest Rokos had a relatively large brain and sharp vision. Some scientists believe they hunted in packs, coordinating attacks on early mammals, giant rodents, and even other birds. Imagine being a helpless prey animal, running across the plains, only to see a towering bird keeping pace beside you. Faster than a horse, more agile than a wolf, and intelligent enough to trap you. These birds ruled for over 60 million years, longer than most predators in Earth's history. And while they're long gone, their bones tell a chilling story. Sometimes evolution creates something so perfect for hunting that it becomes unstoppable. We're now deep in the Carboniferous period, over 300 million years ago. The air is thick, swampy, and heavy with oxygen. The forests are wild, alien, and crawling with giants. Here comes Arthropleura, a millipede as long as a car and wider than a coffee table. 
Up to 8.5 feet in length, this many-legged invertebrate slithered across ancient forest floors like a living tank. Despite being mostly herbivorous, its sheer size and armor-plated body made it nearly untouchable. No predator of the time could mess with it. Some researchers believe it may have had primitive venom or chemical defenses too, just in case. How did it get so huge? Again, the answer lies in oxygen. Earth's atmosphere back then had oxygen levels over 30%, enough to allow even insects and arthropods to reach monstrous sizes. You might think a giant bug isn't so scary, but imagine walking in the forest and seeing a creature the size of a couch moving through the underbrush. Luckily, these titans went extinct when oxygen levels dropped. But as Earth's climate changes again, we're learning how delicate these balances were and how quickly nature can grow things far beyond our comfort zone. Long before dinosaurs, one predator reigned supreme, Innostrincevia, a saber-toothed beast from 250 million years ago. It combined the worst of both reptile and mammal traits. It looked like a Komodo dragon crossed with a saber-toothed tiger. Four muscular legs carried its 10-foot body with surprising speed. But it was those saber-like teeth, long, sharp, and deadly, that made it terrifying. Unlike big cats today, Innostrincevia didn't just bite. It pierced through bone, armor, and muscle in one clean strike. It hunted massive herbivores like Scutosaurus with precision. Fossil sites show tooth marks that match Innostrincevia's bite perfectly. It belonged to a group called Gorgonopsids, predators with advanced brains, complex behavior, and serious killing tools. They were smarter than most reptiles and more vicious than early mammals. Innostrincevia was the apex predator just before the Permian extinction, the deadliest mass extinction in Earth's history. But for millions of years, nothing could challenge it. It was the definition of evolution gone right, and a reminder that before dinosaurs, the planet had already mastered the art of building monsters. And now we reach one of the most nightmarish creatures to ever live, Mosasaurus. This marine reptile wasn't just big, it was a full-blown sea dragon. At over 56 feet long, with a double-hinged jaw and conical teeth, it could devour prey whole, including sharks. Living in the late Cretaceous, Mosasaurus was the undisputed king of the ocean. Fast, flexible, and intelligent, it used ambush tactics to strike prey from below. With powerful tail propulsion and flipper-like limbs, it moved like a modern torpedo, only much scarier. Its bite was lethal, its eyesight was adapted for deep water, and it even had a second row of teeth on the roof of its mouth, just like a modern-day moray eel. Fossil discoveries in places like Kansas, Morocco, and the Netherlands proved just how widespread Mosasaurus was. And with today's rising sea levels, Paleontologists are finding more Mosasaurus bones than ever before. It's a chilling reminder that oceans have always been home to monsters, and still might be. Dinosaurs may dominate pop culture, but the scariest creatures Earth has ever known came before and after them. From armored fish that bite through steel, to birds that hunt like wolves, to sea reptiles that could eat sharks for breakfast, Earth has seen predators that redefine the word terrifying. And what's even more chilling, many of these monsters thrived in times of extreme climate shifts, high oxygen, rising seas, global warming. Sound familiar? The planet may not remember names, but it remembers patterns. And the same conditions that once created these giants might be forming again. Are we heading toward another age of monsters? Earth has always found ways to create creatures that push the limits of survival. Some fossils become extinct, but some bloodlines slip through the cracks surviving deep in forests, caves, or the unexplored ocean floor. So the next time someone tells you dinosaurs were the scariest beast to ever live, tell them the real monsters came first, and some may not be gone at all. <laughs>